Radio is extremely re relevant because about 98% of the population listens to radio. It's never been more relevant. Nobody listens to a website in their car on the way to work. You can take radio everywhere. To many people, it's still very intimate if you drive a lot, particularly on the West Coast or, you know, wherever you commute. You're stuck in your car. It's a way to uh, be engaged in the world. People feel very strongly. You know, fewer people vote, unfortunately, than did 50 years ago. But those who do and the people who matter, I think, listen to radio. Here at the Democratic National Convention, inside the Time Warner Arena, over 100 radio stations are broadcasting in an area called Radio Row. Unless you're in the thick of things, you probably don't know what Radio Row is. It's a media outlet where all the radio stations come together to be able to interview as much as they can and also broadcast their shows live as well as record it. And so they all come here and they hope to interview as many people as they can that they find interesting. Radio Row is a bit of a misnomer because it's yards and yards and yards of people sitting at tables with microphones and headsets talking to people around the world, talking to people right here in the convention hall about one of these most vital set pieces of democracy. Giving the entire country access to this convention in a way uh, with interactivity that really isn't, I think, available on your conventional radio stations that just service a small area.